Uh, you know, that is a very difficult question, and but it's most important question because that is what's going to happen. There's two things that you have to bear in mind in terms of the change of public policy. One will happen through through the legislation, obviously, and then you, you know, need the Senate or everything stops, right? The other is through executive order. And so there is going to be a lot that Biden can do through executive order, primarily to begin with rescinding many of Trump's executive orders, right? Especially around immigration and environmental protection and actually health and safety. Um, and and um, the, it's a sort of been an extraordinarily dismantling of the uh, uh, federal oversight apparatus and of our regulatory state um, that the Trump administration has been engaging in that has to be turned around dramatically and quickly. And so not all the action is going to be on the legislative side. There will be all of this work that has to be done within the federal bu bureaucracy and what we call the regulatory state and through executive orders. Now, Here's, you know, ultimately, the Republican Party is going to have to decide, you know, what direction it's taking its future. Is it going to continue hitching its star to a Republican, uh, you know, a Republicanism that has been labeled Trumpism? Or is it going to try to find some common ground with the Democrats so at least some legislation can be passed. You know, we know from the Obama administration that a lot, this was an obstructionist Senate at that time under Mitch McConnell. And, the, and so I think we are in different times now, this sort of post, uh, it's not post COVID yet, we are in the middle of the COVID pandemic and, the, and a second surge. And more and more people are dying and that impacts red states and blue states, that will impact, you know, and they can be in denial as much as they want, but people see with their eyes now, finally, the, the impact of a failed federal government and a failure on the part of the Senate uh, uh, to act. And once the Biden administration puts an agenda on the table around two things, the economic stimulus and public health, I think there, the the even if the Senate is Republican, it will only be a uh, 52-48 split. This is not a big majority, okay? So I think that um, they also will be forced to act in these two big areas. Beyond that, I won't take any bets. You know, um, I think it's it's going to be much more complicated to get any comprehensive immigration policy through um, or any kind of comprehensive uh, uh, change in the social service system, I think those will be more difficult. But these big pieces of the puzzle, which have to be done now, uh, I think there will be an opportunity um, uh, for bipartisanship on that. So, you know, that's the half glass half full or half empty. This is not easy. What you point out is what we know, which is the country is split right now. The question is really within that split, where are the commonalities and what can be turned into legislation that really benefits the whole country? And will the Republicans see it in their interests to um, work on issues that everybody wins from? Uh, in the past, that's been a path. Um, again, it's going to be hard to tell what they're going to do, but I think that will happen around the COVID uh, pandemic and a, an economic stimulus package.